back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you on three crucial areas of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continuously push you to grow professionally as you navigate in your careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we unpack the idea that you may be motivated about your success, but you may not want it as bad as you may think you do. Now, if you don't know much about me, I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. In our lives, our goals and aspirations typically come down to one thing, how bad do you want it? So today I want you to think about a few things. I want you to reflect on your life. Think about where you are in your life financially, where you are in your personal relationships. Think about your professional careers. And I want you to ask yourself this one question. How's it going? And I mean that quite literally. Are you in a space where you don't want to improve anymore? Are you in a space where you have the perfect career or business and it's something that you can see yourself doing for the rest of your life? Are you in a relationship with someone who is 100% supportive of you and your decisions and loves you unconditionally regardless of any mistakes that you make? Are you living in the type of neighborhood, driving the type of car, have the amount of savings and investments necessary that you are just set for life? Are you and your family in a position to make your decisions based on what you want to do and have the freedom to do with the rest of your life? Because I just want you to know, if you don't, then we need to figure out why. And I ask those types of questions a lot because it's important for each and every one of us to understand that it is important to prioritize our happiness. We so frequently get so caught up in the day-to-day -day grind of just living that a lot of times we miss our calling. We miss potential opportunities to be great. But we also look at our setbacks as a negative and not a blessing. See, sometimes you need to get knocked on your ass, lose money, screw up your relationships, and have unfortunate things happen to you in your life in order for you to gain clarity on who the hell you are. And make no mistake about it, life will always knock us down. It will always test and push us, sometimes beyond what we think our limits even are. But it's imperative that you gain clarity on what exactly it is that you want in life. But once you do, you also have to decide if you want it bad enough to go through the ringer. Because when tough times hit and you want to turn a profit but you can't find clients, or when you want to have a great personal relationship with others yet you aren't making the necessary efforts to build a solid foundation with them, it tells me one thing. You don't want it bad enough. I hear so often how people wish they had this or they wish that they could do that. And they envy the freedom that others have. But what they fail to realize is that the very same people they envy once had a moment of clarity as well. A moment where they looked at their life and said, I need and want more. And I'm willing to do whatever is necessary for me to attain it. They elevated their life and realized that they were enough and they wanted it bad enough to achieve it. That their freedom to choose wasn't good enough. Where their access to opportunities were, weren't good enough for them. And guess what they did? They decided to change it. But they also made a solid commitment that no matter what, no matter how many setbacks or unexpected events that would occur along their journey, that nothing was going to stop them. Know why? Because they wanted it more than everyone else did. But here's the thing. Sometimes we get fooled into thinking that the people that we see in life or on social media are somehow smarter than we are. That they knew somebody who gave them the hookup. And sometimes that might be the case, but most times they just put in the work. They understood that while everyone else is sleeping, I'm gonna put in my grind and I'm gonna work for it. That while everyone was complaining about their situations and how they couldn't do it, that they were going to do it. That they had the drive, the passion and the heart to do it. But that to me shows a level of want to. Not because it'd be nice to win, but because they had to win. Their circumstances weren't conducive to the life and lifestyle they felt that they deserved. So question for you, what do you deserve? Good, the best, you have to make that decision. But you also have to ensure that while making that decision, that if you are going to go for it and try to push for personal and professional success, that you want it bad enough. Because guess what? It may not pop off in six months. It could take five, 10, 15 years in order for you to reach and attain your goals. But you're gonna need to pair those aspirations with your willpower. 
pair it with your understanding that you deserve more in your personal and professional life and embrace the fact that you deserve to have a life of abundance. But are you willing to make a sacrifice for it? Is your dream big enough? And does that dream scare you? Then good, then feel that fear, but do it anyway. You got this. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, I want you, yes you, to become official to the squad. So hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Become a part of a team that's always going to push you forward to personal success. I'm gonna head out now, but I'll be back soon with another new video. In the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.